here at 1033 Newfield. It's a large corner lot, Banbury subdivision, which is beautiful. It needs some the yard needs some cleaning. Beautiful mature landscaping though. And then here's um, just a taste of the rest of the neighborhood. So these are mature lots. Most of the homes in here were built, um, gosh, I want to say back in the 90s. Um, very nice. Very nicely maintained. Really pretty neighborhood. Holds value very well. This has this circular driveway stucco exterior out here in the front um, with some brick accent a brick path leading up to the door not the the entire home isn't stucco as you can see over here this is um, um, just like hardy board siding The rest of the yard coming over here to where the garages are four car garage mm, actually five car garage I don't think it's been lived in the past three years Try to go slower so I don't make anyone sick. Front door. It's white tile floors as you enter. Window up there. Not in good shape. It uh, needs to be replaced. Broken seal. Coming in here. Little formal living area. Straight ahead. Gas fireplace with marble surround. Marble tile or a marble looking tile. Um, this window up here would need to be replaced as well. These two, I can see. Um, they, the seals are broken. Um, I am going to, so right off the front door, you've got a hallway leading this way and a hallway leading this way, and I'm going to head this way since it's the main area. This room, you've got like a formal dining. This could easily be changed into an office if you'd want it as well. White cabinets. And then you've got this attractive staircase here. White spindles. Looks like walnut accent, you know, the, the wood. Let me check the quality of the cabinets. These are melamine. So they would not be need to be repainted. They, they'd stay this cream color, and if you wanted them a different color, you wouldn't be able to um, get them a different color. You'd have to um, put new uh, doors and drawers on. I'll tile through here. I'm just going to do a panorama. That's headed in the kitchen. Then this is headed up to the staircase. And then back to that front door area. I'm going to take it this way into the family room. We've got a small half bath here with a pocket door. No cover on the toilet, so the entire toilet would have to be replaced.
Wow, I do not know the story in this. We'll, we'll go out that there later. Um, here is the family room. Nice vaulted ceilings. Nice darker wood. In here, there was a gas insert in here and somebody has removed it. I have to talk to the agent, but I do believe this home has been vandalized. That's not something normal that somebody who would have lived here would have done, um, even if they were in the process of losing the home. Coming into the kitchen, and like I said, this is not the type of wood you'd have to redo the doors on it if you wanted a darker wood or something different. Um, there's a door here going out to the patio in the backyard. You do have a tree there that's fallen. We have another, this piece of glass up here would need to be replaced as well. Nice little kitchenette area. Here's the kitchen. This is Corian counters. The melamine white cabinetry. Double ovens there, space for the fridge, a little island here, cooktop, microwave, and the kitchen sink. Coming into the pantry, you've got a little glass door here. Nice open pantry. This comes right through, back to the staircase, and this area. I'm going to go look to see what happened over here. So this comes off the garage. Just have a closet here, laundry room here. I'm not even sure why this door is open. Is there any power at all, Ellie? No. I don't know. Can you find a light switch to see if there's light? Let's turn. Oh, here we go. There's, there's power. This is a water softener here. Nice, like lots of space on this side of the garage. Two car garage. And then a single garage there. Um, just nice little detail in the windows there. I don't know if you can see that here. They've got a little crisscross pattern in them. And then this is going outside. So I'll get in that other side of the garage later. It's like it's detached. Back in the home. I'm gonna go to this other side. There's the office area here. This desk is not built in, it's just left behind. Nice bay windows. Wood built in shelving, French doors, nice size room. I'd say this room's probably about 10 by 10 by 16, could be 10 by 18. Little linen door, little notched out area here. I don't know if you can see that. I don't know what would go in there. So artwork of some sort. 
coming into the master bedroom. Beautiful ceiling in here. So it's vaulted. It's a mess. Um, door out to a patio here. Oops, here I have to go out there. Just a little private patio, actually. Fairly overgrown, lilac bushes and all, but this was definitely meant to be a little private area. I don't see water. I do see a plug in here. I wonder if they had a spa or something out here. is open which is interesting to me they must have had some kind of curtain or something on these these are French doors into this room that are glass and then this tub area is open um that's pretty you've got the soaker tub dual vanity here The loo is going to be just right around the corner here. Lids there. And then you've got this glass block. Shower. This is all tile. And then, I don't know, this looks like it's um, the Sun Valley marble. You know, just kind of that um, imitation marble. Nice vault in here as well. Mirrored glass doors. Very nice sized. I don't know how you're supposed to hang anything up there, but nice sized closet. Glass block window by the top. And this is, uh, kind of feels like the Corian as well. Glass is coming back. <laughs> um, you know, I, I guess I, I'm kind of guessing room sizes here, but I would say this would be probably about, I don't know, 16 by 16. 